What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. It's talking about Screen 5 again here today. Just to get out of the way, talk about the chances of us getting a second trailer tomorrow based off of RJ Tarbert's new tweet that he put out earlier today. Now, he said tomorrow is the day and I know you will have something to say. He will be here and he will create fear. Tomorrow I will be set free and you will see me. I do not think that he, that he is talking about a second trailer for Screen 5. I don't think he's even talking about anything related to Screen 5. I was on that bandwagon. Then I remembered he put out a tweet earlier in the week talking about something coming, something blue and then also i thought of the fact that you know dead by daylight has ghostface in their game and there's a site that has been or just forms that leak things and this is one of the leaks that came out apparently of something coming to dead by daylight it's a new ghostface skin icebound phantom in the description is during the darkening glacial winds blew from the lost realms spreading an ever everlasting frost of penetrating ice clusters so this is apparently a, a leaked bit of information related to an upcoming skin that's coming to the game. And I think that that's what he's talking about. I don't think he's talking about anything related to Screen 5. So unfortunately, I do not think we're getting a new trailer tomorrow. If we do, then we do. But I think he's referring to this new skin that has yet to be announced from anyone officially involved with the game. To my knowledge, I don't think it's been officially announced. Getting to the meat and potatoes of this video, we're going to talk about why Sidney Prescott needs to survive this upcoming film. Now, I have made videos in the past where I have made it clear I do not mind if the character is killed. I just do not believe there is anything that they have lined up that would be fitting for her to be killed off. Like, I feel like she needs a solidified reason to die, and there's not one that exists at this point in time. I don't think there ever will be for a character like this with her background and just with everything that she's been through. Uh, also, you wanted to pay respect to Wes Craven, but going into other a specific reason as to why she needs to survive other than her just being the final girl, this being her franchise for the past 20 years at this point, 25 years, and just the fact that this has always been Sidney Prescott's story, there is the aspect of going back to Dewey finally dying this time around. Every time we have had a new Ghostface killing spree, it's been Dewey, Sydney, Gale. The killings have always been centered on wanting to get at Sydney Prescott, draw her out of hiding, frame her in some capacity, etc. It's always been about Sydney, 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 Sydney. Sydney has always had this big brother, just like how she referenced him in Scream 2, Dewey Riley, to fall back on. What do you do, though, when that big brother finally has met his match with a ghost face killer who has done something none of the others have done and then it's just you and gail weather someone who you haven't always got along with you have like a bad history between you in relates in relation to how you guys originally started off with her negative energy towards her about the coverage of her mother's death and now that relationship has kind of been kind of softened over the progression of this franchise but you know that she doesn't have the same bond with gail that she does with dewey and she's never been in a, in a role where she's had to take charge and kind of oversee the new group of supporting characters the way Dewey always kind of has in the previous installments with Scream 4 since he was the sheriff at the time, with Scream 3 since he was the one working on the set of Stab 3, in Scream 2 when he was working as just like someone on the campus trying to solve the murders with once again Gale and other people involved with the force on campus. And then in Scream 1 when of course he was again just associated with the Woodsboro PD. It's never been a case where Sydney has had to take charge. She's always had that comfort with Dewey being around to let her know that, you know, I got you. I got you. If 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 we can't stop him, we'll get you into hiding. Make sure you're hidden. We'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. I'm always here for you. You can call me if you need me. That's the energy that Dewey has always brought to the table when it relates to Sydney. He's always been that crutch for her during these killing sprees. She is a strong character that can go into this on her own she can come out on the other side of this alive on her own but what happens when dewey finally dies because it seems that's just what's going to happen it seems dewey is going to bite the dust here and that'll be what draws her back from chicago because that's where she has stated she lives now nev campbell stated this to woodsboro you're not just going to come back to woodsboro california because there's a new ghostface killing spree you're not going to do that dewey dying though would be the only logical thing at this point that i could see as to why you would come back from chicago to woodsboro because that man has done so much for you over the past 20 something years that you want to know who killed him you want to get revenge you want justice you want to prove to yourself that you can go into this and come out on the other end 
without his support even though he's not around anymore because i feel that once dewey dies there will be a moment where she has this feeling of doubt while she wants to go to woodsboro to take care of all the things that are now happening there and solve whoever killed dewey catch them red-handed you know she's gonna have these seeds of doubt moments where she's doubting herself because she does not have that crutch to fall back on dewey is not around she her screams if she even does that i think that would be a very heartbreaking scene where she kind of even in a moment where she is just fearing for her survival she cries out for dewey like how she always kind of has done in the previous installments more specifically i'm referring to the first first film uh the third one also when she was running around the house the recreation of the house from the original where she was crying out for dewey i would think it would be very heartbreaking if we have a moment where she's shown in a moment where she thinks she's about to die and she's crying out for dewey because she forgets that he's he's not around anymore but that's why she should survive she has all of these things and these emotions that she could go through over losing dewey where she doubts herself doesn't think that she is good enough to carry the lead against these new or for these new supporting characters as it relates to helping them catch who's ever doing this helping sam carpenter helping tara carpenter and you know kind of working together also with gail weathers someone who again you have ha you have had a bad history with you don't have dewey there being that kind of referee i would say between the two they don't need a ref at this point anymore they kind of that's water under the bridge they have a much more healthier relationship but with dewey dewey was always kind of that big brother for sydney so she needs to go into this with that feeling of self-doubt but on the other end of it it makes her a much more stronger and compelling character to see her go through that self-doubt only to come out on the other end being able to stand tall you've solved another ghost face killing spree you've gotten justice for dewey and you were proven wrong about all those fears that you had because this is going to be probably one of the most important ghost face killing spree encounters for sydney prescott as it relates to her character progression if dewey riley actually bites the dust because she won't have dewey to call out for she won't have dewey to reach out to for help she won't have anything but all of the stuff that she's learned over the last 25 years and just his memories you you have to learn how to believe in yourself and i think i think that's why she needs to survive this she needs to be able to survive this and come out on the other end stronger for it but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and then miss video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i have to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video